Okay, it's uh, video number three for Monday the 9th. Listen, I had to bring this one because I'm just absolutely flabbergasted. In fact, I'm not even sure that's the right word to, to express my disdain for this article and its subject matter. This is why we can't have anything nice anymore. Because the left just want to cancel everything. Few bloggers call for word curry to be cancelled over claims it is rooted in British colonialism. Ah, oh, dear me. Food influencer Kahetia Bansal27 says, Curry shouldn't be all you think about when you think about Asia, South Asian food. Well, it's not, and I don't. South Asian food bloggers have criticised the overuse of the word curry over claims it is rooted in British colonialism. Early this year, Kaheti Bansal posted an Instagram video calling on people to cancel the word curry. In this clip, which has been viewed more than 3.6 million times, she says the term has long been misused by foreigners to describe any dish made on the Asian subcontinent. There's a saying that food in India changes every 100 kilometres and yet we are still using this umbrella term popularised by white people who couldn't be bothered to learn the actual names of our dishes, the Californian food blogger claims. Just the fact that she's from California speaks volumes. But we can still unlearn. Speaking to NBC News, she added, curry shouldn't be all that you think about when you think about South Asian food. Now, I, I apologise for this pronunciation because I'm not sure I'll get it right. Elise Morgenstein Forrest is an Associate Religious Studies Professor at the University of Vermont and an expert in South Asia. The word curry does not exist in any South Asian language to my knowledge. Professor Forrest attributes the term to British Badia during colonial rule in India. And I thought it'd be our fault. I thought it'd be British fault. It has to be, doesn't it? It's our fault for everything else. Several historians claim British officials misheard the Tamil word curry, which had varied meanings depending on the region, but can translate to both blackened and side dish. The professor claims that after the British arrived in the region in the 1850s, they started using the term, and because of poor power structures in place, locals started to coin it too. South Asians can turn around and say, OK, if these British officers want a curry, and I stand to profit, whether that's socially, politically, financially, I set up a curry house, she told the NBC News. Professor Ferres claims this is why the word curry should not be used as an umbrella term, because it is largely incorrect and rooted in white Christian supremacy. There we go, they've said it. There we are, that's the problem, isn't it? Get them here we are. Oh, I don't even know if I want to read the rest of it. Another Instagram food influence, uh, Nishividi Power 36 has echoed the calls saying in one video, What the hell is curry? But Miss Ms. Bansal says the word does not need to be cancelled completely, as particularly in South India, it describes a variety of dishes from meat ones in gravy to vegetable side plates. My partner is Sri Lankan. I have friends that are Malayali. Friends that are Tamil. And yes, they use the word curry, she says. But you shouldn't lump all our foods together under this term. There we go. That's it, isn't it? They're going to cancel the word curry. Because a food blogger and her food blogger mates can't cope with it. Because it's, it's, it's steeped in white Christian supremacy. That's all I'm saying on the matter. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'm sure you'll be very vocal on this one. Uh, I'm going to carry on calling it a curry because I love it. Whatever dish it is from where, that, whatever region it's from, I love a good spicy curry. Nice, fiery, hot ones are my favourite. So, let me know what you think down below, monkeys. I love reading them. And we'll catch you soon. Like, comment, subscribe and share if you can. Stay safe, monkeys.